All right, what's up, guys? This is Coach Ben from buildmysportsbiz.com. And in today's video, I'm going to be answering a question. I actually uh, had a Skype call earlier this morning from a coach who lives in Australia. Um, he's in the soccer industry. But this is going to apply to any coach. Doesn't matter what sport you're in. Um, as far as starting your business. So his question to me, he asked me, hey Ben, right now I have nobody in my program. I haven't even set up my business yet. What is the first thing I need to do? Okay, so here's my answer. And if I was you, I would take out a pen and a piece of paper. I feel like this is gonna save you a lot of time and hopefully make you a lot of money. Okay, so here we go. Number one, you need to figure out what is the one thing that you want to focus on at the beginning, all right? If you have all of these ideas, let's say you want to start a private tennis academy or basketball or, it, 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 again, it doesn't matter what sport. If you want to do one-on-one -on -one training, group training, camps, clinics, speed and agility training, mindset training, college consulting, yada, 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 there's a million ideas out there. But you need to be clear on what is what is the one idea that you want to execute on first, right? I never, with my business, fortunately, I never got distracted with trying to do too many things at once. Um, I focused on, all right, I'm going to create the premier private training program for soccer. And I am going to make that the best possible option for parents and players who live in my community. And then once I had that, I had it on, on autopilot, I then started to move into other areas of my business, like group training, and then camps, clinics, uh, mentality training, and then we just went on and on and on, right? But you have to pick one thing, right? I didn't start my program and have all those options, okay? And this is a problem I see a lot of coaches have, is they start and there's too many ideas so they get lost in all the ideas and then nothing happens and they don't build any momentum they don't build any traction so what you want to do is again have one idea and be very crystal clear on what that is okay so let's dig a little bit deeper into that okay let's say you do want to do private training for whatever sport now you need to think about okay who do you want to train not oh, I'm just going to have this program that's available for kids between the ages of six and adults, right? That's too wide open. Like, I want you to be very narrow and specific. Who do you want to train? Who do you like to train? Who do you not like to train? What do you stand for? Like, what do you stand against? You need to start thinking very clearly about who is the ideal client, okay? When you understand who that is and you know, for example, for me, I like training uh Soccer players, obviously, okay, but I like training specifically 10 to 12 year olds, okay, that are girls, that are beginners, that play at a certain league in my city, that live in a certain part of town, they all go to the same school. Like, I am so uh, picky with who I train, and I know based on training hundreds of players that have gone through those stages as far as same school, uh, same teams, same leagues same ages, like I am able to dissect my market and understand exactly who I'm gonna be training because those are the players I like to train the most. Those are the players that need the most help. Those are the players that are the most committed. Their parents are financially ready to commit to my program. Like, And all I'm doing is I'm positioning myself in front of the perfect ideal client. And this is what you need to do. And you need to understand who are those people. So you need to think about those things when you're setting up your business, right? So you really need to understand who you want to train, all right? And from there, there's a lot of strategies as far as how to get players and families to commit to a long-term training program. You know, what is your pricing like? These are things that we're gonna talk about in future videos, right? But if you are just starting uh, your academy, um, your business, and you need some help, and you want some one-on-one -on -one help from me, um, we have helped hundreds of coaches already, and I would love to help you out. Um, and all of our videos, I'm going to end with the same outro, all right, which is very simple. I would love to talk to you over the phone. Um, and to prove it, 
Like every single Saturday, I'm going to be opening up time to where I will set up a 15 to 20 minute call. It could go way longer than that. It doesn't matter to me. Um, but I would love to chat with you personally over the phone and see how I can help you out, right? We've done these, these calls hundreds of times, right? And all these calls have gone very well. And if it's just one little idea that I can help you with and you execute that, that can make a huge difference. Okay, so I don't want you to be shy. I want you to just go check out our site. Um, it's simply, uh, you'll see the domain there. Um, you just go to the first link in the description, uh, buildmysportsbiz.com. Um, you click on that link, you go to the top of the page, you click on the call bin uh, button. That just takes you to an application page. It's a free phone call. Um, but guys, I want you to check that out. I would love to help you out personally with your uh, sports business. Um, and I can't wait to chat to you. So that's it. Thanks again for watching this video. If you liked it, uh, hit the thumbs up button and share it with another coach that, that it might help out. All right, I'll see you later.